Hey everyone, been a really good day, had a really great day. So things are going well, I'm quite happy. Happiest I've been in a long time. Same thing that all fighters say, I'm feeling fresher, stronger, fitter than, I, than I've ever been. Went gym, that car's coming pretty quick, so I better just wait for him to come past. Yeah, but I've got a bit of time on my hands to try and do this video. But yeah, things are going extremely well. And I hope the same is true for all of you. Yeah, so I've got a little bit of time. People keep asking me asking me about Porky's Corner. So people have been leaving comments. Someone, a friend of mine told me over the phone. Uh, let me focus, I'm not trying to get hit by cars. I'm not very wise to do this when I'm crossing the road, but... Oh, looks okay. Alright, there we go. I haven't been hit. That's good. 31 years old, still never been hit by a vehicle. Let's keep it that way. But yeah, people have been telling me Porky spoke about me in one of his recent videos. I haven't seen it, but I just, I can't, his videos are too long. I can't be bothered. But basically, what my friend told me over the phone, I'm not lying. I tell you, I'll name him. I don't see the harm in naming him. Yemi Babatunde, who I do the boxing talk videos with. Yeah, let me just get a couple of little, couple of newspapers. I don't really trust the newspapers, but it's better to be informed. And yeah, basically, Porky's Corner saying I'm banned from the channel, blah blah blah. So I'm banned from from your channel, am I? I mean, this is just funny because Porky's a very sensitive person. He pretends he's not, but he is. He told me that all that online criticism, it gets to him. So obviously I've upset him with the stuff that I've said and, you know, I'm, I'm not going to apologise, I'm not going to take it back, but... You know what I mean? It's like, don't... The thing about you, Porky, but you, you, it's okay for you to provoke people and get rude, but when someone does it back, now you can't take it. And as I've said, it's an open offer. Whenever I'm in Sheffield, I'll come and say it to your face. But it's, it's like you're scared of me, like Christ. And then you're trying to say you want to meet people like Dean, Dean White. You wouldn't have the gut, Dean White, if you're scared to meet me. But this whole thing about me being banned from your channel, what makes you think I care? Look at the views I'm, I'm getting and look at the views you're getting. I interviewed Deji yesterday, that's already got 56,000 views in 24 hours. You know, I, I, I look what happened between me and Tommy Fury. Look, I mean, look at the people I'm getting access to. You know, I'm around the Tyson Furies and these sort of people. Eddie Hearn, I get on very well with Eddie Hearn. Like, I don't really need your little channel, Porky. I'm trying to get on the IFL. I'm trying to get on Sky Sports. I'm trying to get on BBC News. So, yeah, let's just leave that out. I mean, you know, I've upset you. You're, you're emotional. As I've said, I'm in Sheffield this month. I, I said what I said to Tommy Fury's face. Tommy Fury ran off crying. And that was me going easy. I was about to start going hard, but he ran off. So if, when I come, if you're around, if you want to meet up, I'll come see you. Anything I've said online, I'll say it to your face. And you better behave yourself. Don't try and get rude back. You know, I don't have to put you in your place. But you're a coward anyway. You haven't got the bottle to do it to my face. Because you, you never do it to people's faces, do you? So, you're just a fat loser online. If you want to meet up, we can meet up. Are you scared to meet me? Sitting there crying about, oh, Michael, Michael's banned from my channel. So, I don't need your channel. My followers are going up. It's only a matter of time before I overtake you. And look, I give you credit. Obviously, you've built a big, big channel, 11,000. I mean... I don't think it's going to get much bigger. I think you've reached your level now. But, so I just think, look, pe boxing fans, that's what they want to see, isn't it? Like, some of it. I mean, all the trolling you do, but now we know what you're about. So I just think it's boring. And you're just getting the same people on again and again. Terry, Terry's an old man. And if I see him, Terry, just come up to me. I'll say the same to your face. Terry's an old man. He's been around amateur boxing for however long. The guy's not relevant in boxing, he's a nobody. Yeah, he might know a lot of big words and he might sound articulate, but it's like you can't even, 
you're not achieving anything in boxing so these are sort of people you're interviewing i don't really need them and when i say say it to their face as you saw with me and tommy fury i'm not saying it in an aggressive way i'm not saying i'm going to go around punching people if anybody punches me i'll punch you back unless your name david he unless your name's david hay in which case i'll just run i'm not going to try david hay or dean wyatt i wouldn't try to fight people like that outside the ring or even in a ring, David Hay will batter the daylights out of me, we all know that. Look, I just mean it in the sense that I'm honest. When I meet people, I'm not going to lie. If anybody comes at me and, oh, Michael, you've been saying this about me online, I'll say, yeah, I'll say it was me, you know, and whatever happens, happens. I'm not going to withdraw my comments. But you don't do that, Porky, so, yeah, I'm banned from your channel, am I? I don't care. I mean, you got, you got, how many press conferences? So you got two press conferences this coming week one of them's a matchroom one lee wood versus michael conlon in nottingham i might go i might not i'll see then you've got the ebony bridges show uh josh warrington and you know i might buy a ticket and go to one of these fights try and see how many people i can i can get on the night but i don't really need you porky so i don't know why you're going on going on about i'm banned from your channel well when's the last time i asked to come on your channel exactly and the only reason I used to come on there was because I felt sorry for you. You keep getting on the same losers. And I thought, let me try and give you a bit of, let me try and help you out. Let me try and make you look, look a bit more acceptable. Because if I'm coming on your channel, it makes you look a bit more serious. Because I'm not, that's not my ego talking, but I go to press conferences. So I was hoping, I thought, you know, what, let me try and help you out. And let me try and mention your name to Eddie Hearn and some of these people. But you've blown it now you've annoyed me so i mean when i say annoyed me i just but you're not as important as you think you are so me coming on your channel so but i'm trying to meet the ksi's and the jake pauls that's what i'm trying to do you're a nobody porky you don't manage anyone you've got nothing going on you just ran to rave in your bedroom try not to kill yourself and have a good life hopefully we meet up soon or if you want i'll take you out for lunch Let's, I mean, let's not talk as if there's no beef between us. Uh, but obviously, you seem to be upset about the things I've said. Okay, I've said what I've said, but look at what you say about people. Don't nobody can say that I say worse things than you do, because you call people. Some of the stuff you say about people is illegal, slander, and all this sort of stuff. And yeah, maybe I've said stuff about people in the past. Yeah, I have, but I don't. I leave it alone. I don't do it a hundred thousand videos in a row like you do. So you know. And I'll say it to their face, you won't. But good luck here, whatever you do. Whatever you do. You know, I'm sure we'll meet at some point. And as I say, I'm no coward. I don't want to, you know, I'm not going to punch you up when I see you. If Mickey Fio wants to jump in the ring with me, I'll do it. But not you. You're too small. You're too fat. And also, you keep going on about this heart attack. And you know, apparently, from what I've been told, you're still laid up and you're still in bed. So I'm not going to fight some fat little cripple. Well, if Mickey Fear wants to have a little move around, I'll, I'll go easy. Mickey Fear is a granddad on steroids, so that's not really a fair fight, is it? So it's not, it's not a fight, it's a sparring session. That's if he wants. But Mickey Fear got ducked by John Fury, but I don't duck people, so take care. All the best, like, stop, stop saying I'm banned from your channel. I, I don't really care, do I? Don't bother me. I can go to a press conference and meet Anthony Joshua. You know, if I can just get five minutes with him, then, you know, I'll get more views than your channel does. So, all the best. Oh, where is this bus? I need to go, you know. All right, take care.